250 Gemstones Culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News TV channel. I am your host, Michael T. Porter, and I'm bringing the news to your ass like no other. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. I have another bomb news segment for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell so you know when I am dropping. Also, if you would like to support the mission, support the movement, help the channel grow, every dollar count, cash app, dollar sign, Mike, you just want to do cash app, it's going to be one of these sides. Mm, need that money. Hey, I'm an entrepreneur. I got to get that cash. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. God damn it. Somebody messed up the funeral arrangements because grandmama Momo was sent to the wrong country after she was buried. That's right, y'all. They sent her casket to the wrong freaking country. Let's check this out. Drum roll, y'all. Lawandcrime.com, if you guys want to check out the article. Look at this mess. They shipped her to the wrong country. Funeral home sent casket with body to wrong country to decompose. Lawsuit says, article written by Jason Candle. They're going to find your ass, Jason, with bringing this story up. Oh, they got the name of Rivera. Ain't got no eyes. So this is a clear indication. <laughs> there is some mismanagement up in here. Look at the eye. There ain't no eye. It's supposed to be Riviera. Uh, Rivera? It's supposed to be Rivera. See, with that missing eye, I can't even put it all together, but it's raggedy, right? <laughs> A family is still with, oh, that's her name, Carmen Maldonado, right there. She lived a long time, 96. A family is suing a belligerent, belligerent. I went to a public school. Am I saying that right? Beleaguered. New York funeral home. New York? That's my first time reading the article. Come on, New York. Damn. Can New York get anything right? The teams don't play good. The, the mayor corrupt. Everybody corrupt. Oh, migrant crisis. People getting evicted. And now this. A family is suing a belligerent New York funeral home alleging workers sent the casket containing the body of a 96-year-old mother to the wrong country to be buried which the family learned in a TikTok video from a journalist posting about the mistake in Guatemala. The family learned that their grandmother and their mama was buried in the wrong country through TikTok. Oh, y'all listen, this is crazy. Carmen Maldonado wishes was to be buried next to her husband in Ecuador, but her children allege that R.G. Ortiz Funeral Home also doing business as Rivera Funeral Home sent her casket to Guatemala. I was devastated. I couldn't believe that this could be such a big confusion. Darter Rosa Cicha told New York NBC affiliate WNBC. I started to cry and I was incredibly upset, as you should be. In a statement to Law and Crime, the family's attorney, Phil Rizzuto, said the children were in shock after learning about it and were dealt a second blow when the funeral home denied it. Ooh. The children of Ms. Maldonado were in shock and were devastated when they learned from TikTok that their mother's body was in Guatemala. The funeral home assured them that their mother was at their funeral home and her transport to Ecuador was delayed because they needed additional paperwork. There is no amount of money that can hold Rivera accountable for attempting to cover up their neglect. The funeral home and his lawyers declined to comment. Of course, when you're doing wrong, you won't be in front of them cameras when you're doing wrong. You do not want to be in front of those cameras when you are doing wrong. The complaint outlines the allegations that occurred after Maldonado died on May 18th in New York. Two days later, her children entered into a contract with the funeral home regarding the disposition of the remains of their mother to be laid to rest in Ecuador. On May 26th, the funeral home carelessly sent her body to the wrong country and failed to properly advise her family of their error. Court documents say Maldonado's children were horrified, saddened, sickened, dismayed, and when they learned about it, 
court document when they learned about it, court documents say so they were horrified, saddened, sickened, and dismayed. Her body remained in Guatemala from May 26th to June 10th when the son went to recover it. By that time, Rizzuto said her remains were badly decal. So when they opened up the casket, I hope they ain't opened it up. The hands of the body, the skin was falling off, so they had to wrap them in saran wrap. Oh my God. This is not the first time the funeral home, which operates in primarily Spanish-speaking communities in the Bronx, Brooklyn, and Manhattan, has been the subject of controversy. Mm. The New York City Department of Consumer and Work Protection secured over $600,000 for consumers harmed by the funeral home. So they've been doing bad business. How come they ain't shut down? Shut their ass down. The settlement stream from a lawsuit the DCWP filed against R.G. Ortiz for egregious violations of the city's consumer protection law, including refusing to provide information regarding the whereabouts of loved ones remains, misrepresenting or concealing the prices of services offered, failing to provide services that consumers pay for in part because they routinely presented remains in unacceptable conditions. Gross. So it's pretty much saying that they're going to take care of your family members and when your family members actually go to the funeral home. This is like the funeral home of hell. The the remains ain't how it's supposed to be. People faces messed up. They're being shipped to the wrong country. It's stanking up in there. And the people don't know where their bodies are at. Woo! <laughs> this, this, all right, this is not funny. <laughs> this is not funny, y'all. But I'm just saying, like, New York is so corrupt. New York is so corrupt. Oh, my God, New York. I love New York. I've never been to you. I want to go to you. This is the biggest country, the most populous country. It's the biggest country in the United States where everybody comes through. London, this is this is New York, and this is going on. In one case, someone reported, someone reported a loved one's body emitted a terrible smell, and the body appeared to already be visibly decomposing, according to the lawsuit. Another RG... Ortiz customer reported a loved one's remains <laughs> were in terrible shape for the planned. Oh, hold on, it moved. Hold on. For the planned court. The body was not properly prepared and, in fact, was still in a body bag, and there were bugs flying all around. <laughs> That's not funny, bro. I'm just saying, like, how trifling can people be? They said they, they didn't even take the person out the bag. Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? Look at the body was not properly prepared and in fact was still in a body bag and there were bugs flying all around. There's bugs flying around the body. They ain't supposed to take it out. They're supposed to get it ready. Another funeral home customer reported that when she arrived for her grandson's viewing, his remains were leaking liquid. The wax on his skin appeared to be melting and the body appeared to be in a state of decomp decomposition. Oh my God. Another funeral home, read this again, y'all. Another funeral home customer reported that when she arrived for her grandson's viewing, his remains were leaking liquid. The wax on his skin appeared to be melting and the body appeared to be in a state of decomposition. The experience was even more macabre as one of her grandson's eyes would not stay shut, constantly opening and moving throughout the view. <laughs> okay, it's not funny. <laughs> what the hell is going on in this? <laughs> okay, the reason why it's not funny because these are people love ones, but listen, y'all, can you imagine? I'll be shocked. This, this is going back to what they said earlier. <laughs> They were horrified. It was look at the words that they use it throughout this uh complaint. They were horrified. I would be fucking scared if my love was we went to go bury them and we went to go bury them and then they went to go bury and you know we uh, you know we really miss you. And, you know it's gonna be and then the and then the eye bro like oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Can you imagine you being being at somebody's funeral? We we are gathered here today. And she said the eye kept opening up. She said the eye kept opening up. Dead body. The eye. Oh, hell no, nah, bruh. Hell no. Nah. 
Who? Let's roll it back down. Buds flying all over the place. <laughs> this is crazy. I've never heard of those things. This video better get. If this video don't get it up, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna promote this video because this video must be heard. A few months in our lives. Let me see. The experience is even more macabre as one of her grandson's eyes would not stay shut, constantly opening and moving throughout the viewing. Few moments in our lives are as challenging as when we're mourning the passing of a loved one and RGRT sought to exploit those moments of grief and prey on vulnerable New Yorkers. Y'all want to read the rest of this article? Once again, it's lawandcrime.com. Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this 250 Gemstones News TV commentary? Well, of course, you. that's why your ass is here. Once again, y'all, I know you guys are right now, you're probably going through some horrific, probably lost a loved one. I'm not laughing. I'm laughing at how trifling this place is. I've never, out of all the horror movies, out of all the, uh, I never been to a lot of funerals, but a lot of funerals that people been around me. I heard stories about funerals and how it went, summer good, summer. I've never heard of somebody going to a viewing and they're still in the body bag. I never heard of somebody going to a funeral and their eyes to roll. She said the wax that was on her grandson's skin was melting. It was falling. Can you imagine they're decomposing? The whole goal is the of the funeral home is to keep the bodies together so it's presentable to the family. Everything supposed to be intact, looking good, ready to go. But check this out. They weren't looking good. They weren't ready to go. The smell, she said there was smell. There were buzz. They were still in the body bag. Wax coming off. Eyes. She said the eyes wouldn't stay shut. The eyes wouldn't stay shut. That is some spooky, creepy stuff. Look, at this place needs to be shut down. This is a funeral home from hell. Uh, uh, shut it down. Come on, New York. Come on. Y'all looking so bad out there, New York. Y'all looking so bad. But y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think about this story? Absolutely gross. 250 capital G. I'm gone.